Money motivation, like a 20 cent coin worth $26 to $36.50, a 1988 20 cent coin. So just one 20 cent can be worth a lot of money. Only, only 200,000 of those coins were produced, 0.2 million. Whew, let's see if we can find a 1988 20 cent coin in this roll right here. Got the lists of the rarer coins to look for to the side there. So... I can quickly reference to see if it is one of those uh, values on the sheet. Here we go. Lots of different things to look for. But they're focusing on the 1988. Pretty bit of a long shot. Bit of a long shot, but got to be in it to win it. These 1981, some of these were produced in Canada. And to identify them, these claws here underneath the two, if the left-hand claw, that one on the left-hand side there, is half the size, that means it was minted in Canada. And a recent selling price range on those, $1.50 to $60. So if it's in pretty much perfect condition, $60 is what one of those sold for recently. Here's another 1981. No, not Canadian minted. Oh, 66. A little bit excited. It's in pretty good condition for a coin from 1966. Now these can have a wavy baseline. Check, check this out, check this out right here. Uh, where we're at, right at the top, 1966, wavy baseline. $250 to $775 is a recent selling price range on the wavy baseline. So what you're looking for, I'll show you a little picture right here on my coin list as well. So this right here, so most coins, the bottom of the two have a really flat straight edge like that. If it's got a bump like this, that's what makes it valuable. So whew, here we go. We've got a chance. We've got a chance. Let's get the right zoom and we'll flip it around. Oh, no, it's not. It has got a bit of damage on there. But unfortunately, it is not the wavy baseline. It sort of looks a bit like the claws of the platypus um, through there as well. Ooh, pretty dirty. Ooh, I've got up that dirty. Oh, unfortunately, not the wavy baseline, but oh, I'm pumped to have a chance. Here we go. 1971, that's a low mintage date. $1.20 to $70 is a recent selling price range on those coins. But in this condition, it'll be the lower end of that price range. So keep that one. And we've got a New Zealand coin. New Zealand, what year? 1981. There we go. 1981 down the bottom there. Whoops. We're going to hold on to that one. Cool. Couple of 2011s in a row, pretty worn, pretty worn. And a 2018, so there you go. From that little search there, we've got a New Zealand 20 cent coin and a low mintage Australian 1971 coin.